So I had a couple of people ask me to try document uh, you know, what I did with the keel joint. So if you see, this is it's a different kind of keel joint, but let me give you an idea. I trig out all that old caulk out. And actually when I cut in over on this side, right in there, that's where I had water come out. So here I'm buffing all that back. Because I'm going to use, well uh, here, here's all the tools you need. Sander, dentist tools, <laughs> spatula, cutting blade, grinder with flat discs, wire wheels, and other stuff. So, um, this keel needs a lot of work, as you can see. Uh, another day, though. Actually want to get in the water this year. She was a little bit uh, neglected, we'll see. So I did sand back because um, I'm going to use West Systems 465. Or sorry, 655. It's G Flex. It's a flexible epoxy adhesive. I got the 655 because it is. Um, thickened uh, and, and I'm gonna use so I'm gonna hopefully that's thick enough to and a few other tools you might need um, hopefully it's thick enough to inject up in there um, if not final code anyways 407 um, mix it in fair that joint and I'm debating I've had a couple of a couple of suggestions um, different people uh, recommend stripping that paint farther down each way after I seal it with a, a flexible epoxy and glass in it so you know the old girl needs a little love but we're getting there my tans are 28.